guys? John here with Cruising with JT and it just got off the ship for a little bit to take some pictures and videos. We are in Juneau, Alaska. That's pretty awesome. It's not raining so I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick walk to some pictures and then uh, back on the ship, do some more cool footage. I got no plans in Juno today since I've been here before, but um, yeah, it's a beautiful place. And like I said, yeah. I'm very lucky that it is not raining today. There's a ship behind me. I'm gonna try to get some good footage and some awesome pictures. Uh, I believe masks are required off the ship, so uh, that's why everyone's wearing masks. And this is actually keeping me nice and warm. It's kind of thick, so it feels pretty good. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take some more pictures soon. See you later. On August 15th, 2021, arrived on Ovation of the Seas. Looks like the tram is working, Mount Roberts tram. Take a quick stroll over there. There you go. Hello. Juneau, Alaska. It's gonna be a nice day today. I mean, it's cloudy. But beats the rain, right? Oh, check out that ship, guys. I love Ovation of the Seas. Massive. Let's go off the ship briefly to take some pictures, some videos. Look at this beauty. Biggest ship to ever sail to Alaska, guys. Walking and check it out. See if I can get some more uh, awesome footage. way up there. It's pretty cool. Can't stop looking at the ship. So beautiful. some strict measures here. I believe masks are required. Uh, if I sound a little fuzzy, it's because I'm wearing a mask. Yeah, I love this ship so much. I was up in the solarium earlier today, getting some hot tub time. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, but it's massive. Yeah, I know, right? It's <laughs> like so obnoxious. So yeah, are you on the cruise? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on. I just wanted to come and take some pictures and videos, but uh, <laughs> yeah, have a nice day. Yeah. Take care. Look at this, guys. Man, I love this ship. If you have not been on Ovation of the Seas, I highly recommend it. Especially if you haven't been to Alaska, actually. I, have, I highly recommend Alaska. Um, definitely get Alaska on your bucket list, guys. Um, I think when I went two years ago, they're saying that the glaciers will actually be melted in less than 30 years. So, uh, you know, 
take advantage of all you can because in less than 30 years they'll be gone. There's some buses over here. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see here on the back of the ship. You can see that Mount Mount Roberts tramway is operating. It wasn't working about a week ago. That so was on the news, but it looks like it is operating. Or they might be doing some testing. Earlier it was very foggy up there, but now it's running. Alaska. If you guys have not been here on a cruise, I definitely recommend it. Uh, lots of great options and excursions you can do from whale watching to the Mendelhall Glacier, Nugget Falls, of course Mount Roberts Tramway. The view is epic from up there. Uh, you look down, I think it's about 1800 foot or 800 foot uh, altitude. So, uh, yeah. Ride is pretty pretty amazing so if you're scared of heights probably not but uh, definitely it's something they should try it out if you're not afraid of heights ah uh, yes i love the panda and the cub very cute so report by fly as i mentioned earlier it is not operating at this time Quick walk here, you got the rock climbing wall. I challenge you. Alright, one of my favorites. The panda and the cook. I love this. Look at this panda. You should put her mama. Say it with me. Aww. So 
a nice uh, jogging track it goes all the way around the ship I don't know what the distance is but um, if you want a nice jog early in the morning it's a great time to do it not much foot traffic not a lot of people out about so but um, yeah let's go ahead and leave you with this lovely panda in the car. and there it goes Mount Roberts tramway on its way up happy to see it functioning about a week or so ago it was not working and uh, we were thinking that it might not be running today uh, as we were visiting Juno. So I'm really happy to see that. We did this excursion or this uh, experience uh, a few years back and had a great time. Uh, it's very high up there, you get amazing views of the ship, of all the ships and Juno, Alaska. It's pretty amazing so just look out there. This is just beautiful. Pardon the wind, guys. This here, you know. Here we are on the back of the ship, ovation of the seas. Hey, they're about to cross. Very lucky today that it's not raining in Juno. So I'll take it. Woo! Good evening guys. It is nine o'clock on Sunday, August 15th, 2021. And here we are in Juneau, Alaska. About 30 minutes until all aboard, and I think we're sailing away around 10 p.m. Something about Juneau at night that really comes alive. I mean, look at the reflection off the water. I mean, that is beautiful. There's no filter here. Like, literally, how it looks. It's amazing. There's a ferry there. The beautiful capital city. All right, guys, we're gonna keep walking. We're at the front of the ship, heading towards the World Theater. Looks like it is open. Perfect. Just gonna take a quick walk and uh, see what's going on. I think there's a movie playing tonight. It's our last theme movie. It's called, I think it's called Togo or Tugo. I can't remember the exact name, but I think it might be uh might be on here. Thank you, how are you? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick record, that's all. So this is the Royal Theatre. It holds very high capacity. I'm going to go in the front to take a picture. This is really Togo. Yeah, it's a true story. Alright, so there's the theatre, guys. Lots of fun shows here. Broadway, 
shows pretty impressive. Hey guys, cruising with JT here. Just headed out my room for the evening. It's about 9 p.m. We are headed away from Juneau, Alaska very soon. I'm just gonna take a quick stroll through the Royal Esplanade and see what's happening. I know the Bionic Bar wasn't working earlier, but it is working now, so I'm pretty excited to see that. Just going downstairs, you can see all the beautiful artwork behind me, it's pretty nice. down here. That's the Royal Esplanade. Let's keep going. Yeah, and I've mentioned this before, but I've been, you know, wearing a mask indoors and it's not that bad actually. I mean, I don't want to first thing like, oh my God, I got to wear a mask. I don't want to wear a mask. But honestly, it's just to protect everyone and make sure that cruising can continue being safe, guys. Check out the view behind me. That's actually called the view. V-U-E. Oh, sorry, the via. Via. V-I-A. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a walk. I'm actually gonna flip the camera around now so you guys can see enough of me. All right. So I'm in the Royal Theater and you'll notice here the front two rows are blocked off for any guests. It says reserved, but it technically means that you can't sit there. Uh, they don't want guests to be too close to the performers here on stage. Yeah, one thing I love about Royal Caribbean is the theaters are absolutely beautiful. It has the two stories, the terrace, the balconies up there. One thing to note is on deck four, so the lower deck, this is for vaccinated guests only. So folks are free to take their masks off. Uh, however, on deck five, that is for everyone. And by everyone, it means the unvaccinated as well. And by unvaccinated, they're basically referring to the the five percent who aren't vaccinated on this cruise. So basically, folks under twelve. I'm pretty sure most adults who are eligible to get the vaccine are vaccinated. Uh, it's just if you want to bring your children, uh, anyone that's under twelve, to the theater, you have to sit up there. So something to keep in mind. Again, protocols are changing every day. Whose rules are changing every day given the daily changes we're experiencing, right? So, yeah, it's like the about to start. guys so this is Juno at night this is the main downtown area or at least the port shopping centers there's some restaurants it's a beautiful city can't tell you how much Juno and other ports in Alaska have needed cruising to return so so important for their economy and i'm so glad that we've been able to return this summer if you look up there at the top right there kind of in the middle that's the mount roberts tramway i'm sure it probably looks epic right now but it's closed <laughs> so yeah Night, it looks beautiful. Gotta love it. Alright, guys, I'm gonna get a drink at the Bionic Bar. Let's check it out. Hello, Hello I'm back. Uh, no, 
All right, let's see these bad boys get to work. All right, guys, so I got the blue Hawaiian. And what's the robot's name? Uh, Mingo. Hey, Mingo. All right, Mingo, do your thing. Make it extra strong. <laughs> extra strong. Yeah, all right. And I'll, and I'll give you my information and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mingo. I see you do your work. Do your thing, do your thing. Shots. Yeah, so I was saying, guys, uh, the bonnet bar is a little bit different this time around. Uh, usually, there's music overplaying, or there's usually music playing overhead uh, at the bionic bar, but not not this time. Um, you just hear the music that is. <laughs> there's an extra shot in there. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I'm telling you, blue is the theme tonight. You guys got blue, I got blue. Love it. <laughs> She's aggressive. That was awesome. Awesome. I'll, 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 I will make a new one because it's not full at all. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> hey guys, Kuzma JT here. Uh, it's late night on day three, and uh, we just had a fun night, uh, just meet some other cruisers, have some drinks, have some pizza, and uh, now I'm just gonna take a little walk outside the ship. And it's one of my favorite traditions is to uh, have a nice late night snack with some drinks, do some dancing, some music, and then take a nice walk. So let's check it out. All right guys, here we go. So this is deck five, and this is actually an area I have not been to yet, so, so I just flipped around. I came out of that little brown platform area. We're at the front of the ship and see what's kind of happening there. We just left Juneau, Alaska, and we're not going super fast yet, so I feel like this is a good opportunity to come out and uh, Piece of footage. But yeah, I absolutely love walking outside late at night on the cruise. Um, usually, you know, we're in warm climate in the Caribbean. Also, Alaska's pretty cold, which is why I like it.
like there's no entry there. So I'm gonna head to the back of the ship and I will rejoin you guys as soon as I get there. I am right at six. Six. So, so deck six, deck seven. That's my room right there. Guys, here we are. Took a nice walk late at night on ovation of the seas. Pair of traditions on any cruise is to walk late at night on a cruise outside and uh, here in Alaska you just gotta wear a jacket it's a little chilly but it still feels great crisp clean air We have some outdoor seating here. I wonder what this is for. Huh. Oh, a smoking area. Nice. That's good that they have a dedicated smoking area. This is the Via. Let's continue walking back. Dead end. <laughs>